Shadow can play a really important role in getting your assets to life in AR. And in this video, I'm going to show you very easily how to get this running in your project. So this project does need to be in the universal render pipeline in Unity. And for this, we will use my asset Shadow Receiver URP. So there is a free and a paid version. The difference is the paid version supports soft shadows, multiple shadow cascades, and transparent shadows so you can see through the shadowed object and still see the ground under it. The implementation is exactly the same. So for this, I'm going to show you the paid version, but the free version works exactly the same. So you can just follow along and it should work. So now let's get going and move over to Unity. In Unity, quickly go to the package manager. This is found in Windows package manager. And in your assets, there should be shadow receiver or the AR version. So the paid version or the free version. Again, we're going to show the paid version right now, but both should work. Simply click import and import the files where they are right now. So that should be done fairly quickly. And once it's there, you can quickly get it to work without any trouble. One thing you do need to enable in your universal render pipeline settings, you need to make sure that transparent receive shadows is enabled. If you don't do this, the transparent shaders do not work. You could still get the uh, opaque shaders to work, but I highly recommend using the transparent shaders where possible. So once that added, you can quickly go to your AR session or your AR script, which you use. This works for AR Foundation, Vuforia, ARKit, AR Core, Lightship, and pretty much any device with any AR runtime there is. Just make sure that there is something the shadow can be cast upon. So for me, I got a plane manager right here. And this is just the simple AR default plane. So go to the plane which is being generated, go to the mesh renderer and replace the material with the shadow receiver material. So right here, I got shadow receiver, edit, make sure it's all saved, make sure your scene is saved and that the plane is selected right here. And now you can already build to device and make it run. I will leave this project in the description below. You simply need to add the shadow receiver asset and it should pick up everything automatically so you can test it out on device. Um, you see some gameplay on screen right now to show it does actually work. And that's basically it. You now got amazing shadows in your project. I hope you enjoyed this quick guide and found it useful. If you did, let me know by dropping a like, commenting, and if you have any issues, definitely let me know so I can fix them in the next release.